All right. What I was gonna say is, when you do your placement, on what I do, what I used to do, which a lot of players do, is they walk around as a terrace, and they figure out which way they're going to play their CT positions, and they add crosshair placements. Meaning, when I come into dust two, I go like this. I'll come in here, maybe jiggle check, you know, that spot right there, because you sit there, and then I'll maybe do that one right here or to the back, and I'll see if the guy's back there. If nothing is going on with this, see my point is a lot of people just come and they look straight back here and that's why you get that shot because this crosshair placement is not there. So as a terrorist, experience wise, this is why uh, you have problems going first a lot of the times because your crosshair placement, which is really good at some maps, it's only because you have experience at getting gayed. Well, I have more experience at going first and getting gayed. So I would just, in a sense, have better crosshair placement beca from you be because of you, because I've had the chance to go first more times than you. So he, yeah. So anyway, this is all about entry killing, but not even that. It's about crosshair placement and good CT spots. To make really good CT spots, you need to understand it. So here we go. If I come in this site and I go like this, and I check this one, and I check back there, and then I can come back here and I can check the top of the platform where people sit. And if nothing's going on, I'll walk up and I'll check the right hand side as back far as I can. If nothing's there, I'll come out and I'll crouch peek this. If nothing's crouch peek there, usually people go like this and then they, they like they scan up like right up to the window. They just come up and go like this, what's going on? And they walk like this. And so they skip this. So basically if you see if you if you're sitting on that side of the box if you're sitting on this side of the box right here and the guy, if, you, if you, the guy doesn't see you, he's going to scan up to here and you start shooting him. Not only that, but the point is that you allow him to ex expose himself to such a deep angle that you can switch to that side of the box and ream him before he chases you away. Meaning this, like, if you're peeking him here and you see him, and you like, like, you can't see him now, because he'll be, like, unless he runs forward. But if you see him here, and then go this way, He'll, you, you'll catch him. Like, he won't be able to run away or maneuver or anything. So the point is, that's why this is good. If you catch him exposed far, or whatever, and then you can catch him with the dream as you can find it. But the, the, the main point is, regardless of your reaction, sitting still is already, you're already going to lose if you're sitting still. But your, your reaction time is better than his, and it will just look amazing, because his crosshair, he'll have to go like this. They'll have to come out and go, what's going on, ah, and then like flip down to you. He's never going to get the shot off. You're going to kill him first every time. And so what I was just saying is, you said it's just preference. It's not preference. It's beating like your, their crosshair placement. Unless the guy comes out and goes like this, and then just goes like this, Ted knows to look for it, because Ted, I taught Ted this. But, so anyway, that's why this is a really good CT spot, because they come out looking there, not even at you. That's why that is a really good CT spot. The reason why, and also random peak timing. Timing. Random peak timing would be this. If I come in the thing and you time it, and you just know the mentality, you could just apply this to every position that you play as a terrorist. On alley, the timing to come up from the end of alley to here. On dust two, if you're coming and they go, yeah, there's nothing going on, nothing, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, they're here. I mean, nobody's going to, without making footsteps, look at this, one Mississippi. Two Mississippi. I'm not even checking. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Five Mississippi. They cannot be hidden there and then be hidden there. Which means that you could go like this. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Like, you know, one Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. And check it. And that way, basically, if the, it, it, that would mean that you're checking the moment that they, like, you're, you're pretending that every five seconds he's waiting to go, he, he's like this, boom. And then he goes and he crosses everything. And even so, what the reason why you can't just sit still? You, I see you in the back of the bomb site, and you do this, and you just kind of go like this. I don't know, like you have to figure out they can see your head over the box and shit, and you gotta know that. But when you sit, like if you, I think it's basically if you sit any further back than this, any if you sit any farther back than this, an opera can duck double scope and see your head. Now the point is, if you just sit, and I'm not sure if it's ducked or not, you gotta figure it out. But I'm pretty sure you're safe. Just know you're safe if you put your back against like right here and just sit here, and now you could just kind of do one of these, and just look for his shoulder and go for it. Now my point is, if you peek, ho hold on, let me think of exactly what I was going to say. You sit here, and you look for a guy's shoulder. I watch you do this. You're like, yeah, James said he'll come out looking at the window, and I'll gay him. Great. No. You, if the guy comes out like this, and he comes walking out, you remember one time you got killed, the guy can go like this and see your shoulder. 
You need to shoulder peak him. You need to take advantage of the shouldering, not him. And so you need to kind of like be hidden and check for it. Be hidden and check for it. Be hidden and then check deep even once or whatever. So yeah, that's the difference between the two. Now let me show you. The, I'll just reinforce it by a different position. When you take this, you take long or you take take catwalk. Okay. If you're gonna take catwalk, number one, the first thing you could, if like Cody was right here and threw a flash rim, he would Cody would come like this. And there's a thing called jiggle peeking. And I, uh, I call it that. Basically, you strafe and you see if the guy's there. And if you see him, a lot of times he'll chase you and you kill him. But anyway, it'd be like this. Boom, a flash would hit off the wall. And I'm sitting here. That's a bad flash. Okay. And we'd come like that and see if the guy's there. See if the guy's there. And just come and see if the guy's there. Nothing, nothing here. Front of the box. Because if the guy's boosted him, he's probably right there. Right? So you just kind of like nothing. If they're stacked, a lot of times you can just don't come peeked out, crouch. And, or even better, come up top of this. And then what happens is when you get close, here's what people fuck up. You have to t get against the right side, tap for this, and then check this right here. Just come up. I'm sorry. You have to like this, and then come up and check this. A lot of people come around the corner and they go like this. Yeah, and they get blasted here. If not, I can see this guy's shoulder. And if not, they come like this. They go, yeah, what's up? This guy up here kills him. So crosshair placement. Now on the CT side of it, catwalk guy, this is a really good boost to do. Put a guy up there. And then you can put like a guy back here or something. Like, like that's why that boost is good. Because if this guy's kind of like hiding and that guy's up there and then this guy peeks out, that's why because they won't look up there and then yada yada. So, yeah. And that's the, that's the whole point of it on crosshair placement. That's what I wanted to get down and then we're good. Okay? The, the last thing, well, two seconds, I'll show you the last thing is on the flashes. If you don't, I think I told you this, but they can tell exactly where you go by your flashes, Dan. If you don't tell them exactly where the flashes, like you, the flashes will tell them exactly where they land. You'll know how many are in the site and exactly if they went in the back of the site. So if you're going to play B, but you're going to play outside, I think you know this, but I'm just saying it for shits and giggles. This is for every map that you play. You might want to run all the way in and throw all your shit and then come outside. And then, yeah. Or even fucking spam the wall. Like right here or something. And you can read them. i got to figure it out for you. Okay. All right. Bye.